with every new edition of Football Manager, I like to try and find a tactic that works really well in the new game and then share it with you guys. This year, I've gone back to an old tactic, a tactic that we uploaded called the 523 Spanner that's now been updated, tweaked, and made to work, hopefully, in FM23. Today's video, I'm going to talk you through the different roles that are involved, the different instructions, as well as maybe giving you some hints and tips how to get the best out of the tactic, as well as providing those download links so that you can go and use it and hopefully enjoy it. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the first tactic upload of FM23. A fair few of you have now asked me, when's your first tactic video going to be? And well, today's that day. Here is the 523 spanner then. It is, as you can straight away see, a three at the back, three striker system that some of you may well recognize. Some of you may have used this in previous days because I did upload this tactic during FM22. This time though, it's updated, it's tweaked, it's been renewed, rejuvenated, ready for Football Manager 2023. And I think it's going to be really good. In fact, I know it's going to be really good because I've tested it with a few different teams now. I've got some success stories to share with you as well as in today's video, talking you through every role that's used, every instruction, and giving you those tips on how to maximize your success with this tactic. If you think this is going to be your cup of tea, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm going to bring you lots of other tactics over the course of the year, as well as all of the other content that is coming out at the moment. But before we get into all of that, let me tell you about the sponsor of today's video. And that sponsor is once again, OneFootball. A big shout out and thank you to OneFootball for continuing to support the channel and sponsoring today's video. OneFootball, it's a free to download football football app which you can go and download by clicking the link that is in the description of today's video that will give you a link to go and download the app once you've downloaded the app you will not regret it because it is basically a one-stop shop for all things football you've got your football news you've got your stats and your scores and your results and anything you could want there's even news articles and videos there is loads on there go and go to be honest go and explore it yourself by downloading the app click the link that is in the description go and get it for free and just find out just how good this football app is i genuinely mean it it is it's really really good to so go and download it thank you so much to one football let's get ourselves back into this spanner 523 spanner tactic video so here's how it looks in game then and i've just loaded up a brand new save with dortmund so that i can talk you through the tactic here as you can see it is a three at the back with two wing backs or a five at the back that's what it's called called 523 spanner it's a five at the back with two midfielders and then three strikers three strikers for me was the meta it was the most op way of playing in fm22 and let me tell you it can be very effective in fm23 as well as i'm going to hopefully show you with some of the teams that i've used this tactic with some of the results some of these strikers are scoring a lot of goals i'll show you that in a little while but let me first talk you through the the roles that are involved in this tactic in goal you've got a sweeper keeper now what i'm going to do here because you might well be playing on the xbox version of the game or other versions of the game where you can't actually go and download the tactic for if that is the case what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on every player so that you can see any of the individual instructions on those players too please just pause the video and copy it if you are just copying it here i understand what it's like it's frustrating if it's not covered and you have to ask in the comments for the keeper it is a sweeper keeper set to support with the instruction to take more risks you want them to be sweeping is what you want here with the back threes in fm23 they seem a bit weird sometimes they make strange decisions they seem pretty well 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 trained in this particular tactic but i've seen it i've seen them struggle in other tactics too in an emergency you want your goalkeeper to react to that that's why they're on a sweeper keeper here in front of the sweeper keeper then we've got two ball playing defenders out wide set to defend on the right hand side we have hummels here for me he is set to these instructions here and then on the left hand side we've got schlotterbeck in this position at the moment who ideally for me, I'd want a left footer to be playing on this left-hand side, like Schlotterbeck, and then a right footer to be playing on the right-hand side. In this example, it's Mats Hummels, who could play the role pretty nicely as well. In the middle, you've got a central defender set to cover. This is quite important. I wouldn't tweak this one too much because when you change the, the mentality of this man, they behave so differently. So I think cover is the best way of, of getting the most or being the most solid defensively. Nicolas Sula is set for that at the moment. Doesn't matter which foot he is, to be honest, in this one. One. he's just set to a central defender as well with uh, these instructions here ideally for defenders you probably want to be looking for players that are tall i'm going to say that about most of the players in the in all of my tactics is if you've watched the channel for a while you know that tall players i think are really effective tall strong and if possible fast players too 
this Dortmund defense is actually pretty good. They're all pretty tall. Sula's a giant at six foot five. Schlotterbeck's not small either at six foot three. And then Hummel's at six foot three as well. Yeah, six foot three as well. These are pretty good in my book. And that's the defense. In front of those guys, you've got two wing backs. Let me show you the instructions on those two. Quite a few instructions on these guys. They are set to attack as wing backs, and they're going to be very important. They provide most of the width as we're not using wingers. Although, when we get to it, actually, these pressing forwards do act like wingers as well. They do move wide and they do actually go and, you know, whip crosses into the box for the opposite number. So you'll see Makoko here crossing for Modeste. Although, actually, I do want to swap those because uh, Makoko is left-footed, although we'll come on to that. These are our wing-backs. Again, I'll show you the left-back too or the left wing-back so you can see his instructions. And then, in front of those guys, you've got two very... I mean, it seems very ordinary, ordinary doesn't it? It's just centre-mid set to support, but with this you can actually tweak them quite a lot for the specific players if you have a look at the cm support role you can go and do anything with it with lots of different roles so let me show you as an example if i went to box to box midfielder a lot of these are grayed out and i can't do much with them with cm set to support i can make this way more customized for what i want them to do so maybe if you're spotting things that are happening in the game maybe this is where you could have try and wrestle a bit more control by changing things to be honest they're set up in a pretty default way right now and it works pretty well you've got bellingham for me on the left hand side here and Emre Chan on the right hand side here you can see their instructions as well as we go through and then possibly the most important part of the tactic you've got these three strikers now they are this is an important part here they are set to mark a specific position the strikers mark their opposite center backs so weirdly because they're marking them they just stay way closer to them and you'll see them getting in behind them quite a lot so for Modeste on the right hand side you'd want him to be marking the left center back if I go into this here he's marking the left center back and then likewise Mukoko on the other side is set to mark the right center back because he's playing on the left hand side the center striker doesn't have a mark specific position you can see their instructions there it's quite an important one it seems to work really well alongside these other instructions you'll see you'll see how they behave in the match with this and then you've got two pressing forwards out wide and then a deep line forward in the middle this deep line forward don't be fooled by the deep line forward this guy will score a lot of goals as i'm going to show you in some of the seasons where i've played through with this tactic adiemi could do the role okay again big tall fast strikers would be great in this particular tactic with the midfielders by the way i didn't really mention it but look for some good physicals look for players that have good work rates get up and down the pitch see them as a very liverpool type midfield functional rather than anything over the top they don't need to be ballers they just need to be functional in this midfield get the ball pass it on with a good engine in there and you'll be successful i think in this particular tactic and those are the player roles those are the types of players i'd look for Let's move through to the team instructions. And those tactics start with the mentality, which is in this one set to positive. It is pretty front foot. It's pretty attacking, really. It's where you try to dominate a game. You're going to have a lot of shots and hopefully score a lot of goals with this one. It's apparently an improvement in FM23 where you can go and use things like low blocks and defensive tactics. But I do still feel like the meta, the most effective way to win games is going to be on that front foot and attacking. This is a tactic more in that mold and... If we have a look at the in possession instructions, it starts like this. It's a fairly narrow attacking width. That's because we actually do play without wingers. It's just these three strikers, those pressing forwards, which do, they do drift out wide, but we're still going to, you know, aim our, our play down the middle. We don't pass into space, which I find is a really weird instruction this year. Have you guys found this one? I feel like tactics are more effective if you don't use pass into space. It's maybe because of the way that the players are reacting to the, the ball and not seeming to actually, I don't know, they don't seem to have too much intelligence in the match engine. So no pass into space. We play out of defense. We have slightly shorting passing direction or directness, I should say, which is maybe a little bit different to FM22 where we would play those long balls. We play there with a very high tempo and work the ball into the box with mixed crosses, which may be a surprise, but I think this is the most effective setting for crosses. You'd think with those three strikers you want to do those with those floated crosses maybe if you've got tall strikers go with mixed crosses because they do then a nice mix and it seems to work quite well nothing else added in the t or in the in possession instructions let's have a look at in transition then and we do have a counter press and we do have counter quite gag and pressy as i mentioned before we are then going to roll it out as our distribution type and we don't do anything with our goalkeeper in possession and then finally 
The last of the team instructions is out of possession. We have a high press for our line of engagement. We have a standard defensive line. This seems to have the best results. You've seen those defenders, especially in those three at the back tactics. This just seems to be the most solid. We do have get stuck in on. It is more effective with this on. However, be careful with yellow cards. You may pick up a fair few with this. I think it does put you on the front foot though and you're being more aggressive, which is the way that this tactic is set up. We would like to prevent short goalkeeper distribution. Then nothing else set up on here those are the team instructions those are the player roles those are the best players to pick in each position let me show you how this tactic has got on in a few tests and the first team I used to test this tactic was Tottenham Hotspur Spurs. And you can see here, we've won the league with 88 points using this 5-3-2 spanner. It was very effective. Let me show you some of these results before going into it in a little bit more detail. You can see results-wise, pretty good with Spurs. I don't think there's many people that would expect Spurs to win the league in the first season. So I think this is a decent performance from this tactic. Great wins against Leeds, Villa, Southampton. Did lose to City. It's not perfect i'd say as a tactic this is not not necessarily plug and play i w i mean i don't think you're going to go and dominate straight from the from the off you do need to be a bit smart with things but it's definitely an effective tactic and as i say i like to try and share with you guys a tactic that i think is pretty good and i think this is a pretty good tactic all in all it has beaten west ham fulham beat brighton there i think there was some good results beat manchester united drew with liverpool away from home that's not too bad really in fm is it beat arsenal 4-1 in the london derby the north london derby there that's pretty decent i think beat psg 3-2 that's in a friendly so maybe not as important it did go through though beat liverpool at home beat manchester united away from home and as we continue it was the europa league knocked out manchester united and yeah manchester city 2-1 win towards the end there pretty good results and then as i mentioned before it was good enough to win the premier league with 88 points six losses in there four draws but 28 wins lots of goals scored not as many as Erling Haaland because I think that's just impossible but lots of goals scored let me show you who scored those goals then by going over to the tactics screen and here it is it was Harry Kane playing this deep lying forward role which I said before don't don't think that that's not going to score goals because he ended up scoring 34 in 56 games as well as Hyung Min Son alongside him scoring 26 Richarlison got 13 he's really good in FM by the way Kulusevski could also come into that position there you can see some of the other performances from players there Kulusevski actually played in midfield at this point six goals from him but some really good performances some good average ratings and then winning the league with spurs i think it's a good start in terms of our tests i did also go and test it though in italy let me show you those results and in italy i actually tested it by setting it as the tactic for two different teams in a league season atalanta and Inter Milan. Now, Atalanta ended up finishing six, which I think is respectable for where you'd expect them to finish. They played so they played well in some games and then struggled a little bit more. But then the other team that I tested it with was Inter Milan and they flew through the season and won the league with 92 points. We'll start with Atalanta. I'm trying to be honest and open with how it's going to perform this tactic. It's a really effective tactic, but maybe don't get too carried away and think it's just going to be super easy to win the league. You need to be smart with it, as I mentioned before. But if I show you Atalanta here, they finished six, qualified for Europe. They had some good performances. Hoyland was good. Moriel was good. 20 goals from Duban Zapata. Players like him, so good with a tactic like this. Big, tall, strong, pretty fast. He's got great finishing as well as Zapata. Still at 32, a great player. Got himself 20 goals, all comps in that one. Some of the other performances from the, some of the other players there that you can see as well. I like Atalanta because the players are really good for the roles that we talked about. Like Malinovsky's a really good mid midfielder in this system. The fullbacks are good. Ruggeri, Hatterberg, and then you've got players like Zapata and Hoyland who are very, very me, very meta for this type of system. Let's also have a look at the Inter system then and how Inter did and maybe some of their results because they did win the league, as I mentioned, and there were some really, really good performances from these players. Have a look at this. 41 goals in 45 games from Romelu Lukaku. Again, big, tall, strong, fast goal scorer. Martinez got 20, 21 goals from Dzeko, another big, tall striker look. Brozovic and Barella in this midfield. I think they were actually that way around. DeMarco, brilliant, love him. Bastoni. This Inter team is set up perfectly for this spanner. So maybe have a think about what team you're using. Does it suit this type of system? If it does, absolutely go for it. It's a really good tactic. Let's have a look at those results from Inter. Massive wins against Celtic, draw, draw the eye immediately. 7-0 win against Salentana. Pretty good as well. Salento 3-0. 4-0 against Empoli. Uh, pretty good overall. Look, I'll just scroll through so you can see them. It beat... Juventus 5-1 there. Spezia 5-0. 3-0 away at Milan. The second half of the season here. Have a look at that for a run. From Juventus down to Napoli right at the end. 
just won all of those games from April onwards. So it can be really dominant, especially when you get your team into a groove. I really recommend you go and try this tactic if you want to download it. As I mentioned before, the download link is in the description. However, you can also go and download it or subscribe to it on Steam. And if you do that, it should appear when you go to your tactics. You should be able to go here and load tactic and you should find it in your tactic options here by subscribing on Steam. If you don't play FM through Steam, you'll need to download the file and then move it into the tactics folder in Football Manager 2023. There are loads of videos explaining how to go and do that. And then you should be, loaded into the, be able to load it into the game. It does come with some set pieces. If you want to see a proper set pieces video, by the way, with just set pieces to download, you need to leave a like on this video. Maybe if we hit a thousand likes, that's ambitious. Maybe then I'll drop this set pieces video. Does that sound like something you could do? Go for it. Try it. And hopefully you enjoy this. Let me know how you get on in the comments down below. It's a really great tactic. It worked in FM22 brilliantly. It works in FM23. Let me know how you get on with it. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. First tactics video of the new game. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.